Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, I'm Narshad. Welcome back to my channel, Sharing Knowledge. Today I will show you about uh, how to make a Windows XPSP3 bootable CD with Magic ASO. If you don't have XP3, XPSP3 bootable CD, you don't worry about that. You can make make it easily just to follow the steps first of all you need a you need a bootable uh, sorry Windows XP ISO file and need magic ISO software this application and need a bootable boot file boot IM file boot image file careful these three steps you go to Google first of all you go to Google type Microsoft XP professional SP3 download see here you will get it here okay I, I have already there okay and next you need a magic ISO go to here type magic ISO this is magic ISO create ISO page magic ISO dot com click here I have already there ok download click here you will get it and next you need a bootable file boot file you can see th you see this things port in bibli.com okay this is my site you go to here search here windows xp professional sp3 boot disk file you can download here you can download here i have already there you will get it boot file boot image file and if you want windows xpsp3 product key you need a product key download here you will get it i have already there in desktop okay don't forget these three steps see, see, see this product key carefully watch these steps first you go to Windows XP ISO file SP3 open with magic ISO Okay, you see this ISO file now this file is non bootable you have option here if you have any additional folder if you have you can add here this one is add option folder option and if you need a, another file maybe you need a product key you can add here okay see this non bootable disk now need a boot no need a boot file you go to here click load boot image file click here I have already there in desktop see this boot file boot IMA file click here and then click OK now
change it this file is now bootable this ISO file is now bootable okay and then you go to file save and click save see now saved now this ISO file is bootable ISO file you can check reopen now you see see this now bootable ready for burning you go to see this option burn to CD now click here now asking file image file you click here you go to desktop and click to Windows XP SP3 boot file this boot ISO file ok now asking CD now if you have blank CD put inside the CD drive then you get it option is burn it ok then you go here select so not need a fast and low middle is 6 10k so good you have option is open this this window is open and this put inside CD drive bank CD then you will get it option burn it click here to burn it ok if you need a confirmation about this boot file before booting before burning then you go to google page then go to here type here virtual box and click here to www.virtualbox.org see this select download then you will get the option download option click here see I have already there ok I have already there in desktop now this open this virtual machine And click next. Click create. Click here, start. Okay, select asking the host drive. You can select the desktop uh, ISO of a bootable ISO file.
see this file click start okay done it 100% success this operating this boot file already running this my operating system same this boot file my own no you can do it your own windows xp sp3 bootable cd done it setup is loading you go to magic iso open and to direct burn to cd then you will get it new windows xp sp3 bootable cd okay bye thanks for watching and subs subscribing i hope you will be like this video if you like this video please share this link with your friends once again thank you for watching take care see you next video